Hello. Today we're going to be doing a carpet repair due to pet damage. Now this was done either by a cat or a dog that uh, found it necessary to try and get through this doorway here. Now they were either trapped on the inside wanting to get in or on the outside wanting to get in uh, or out. Um, the damage though is enough that uh, you can see they ripped it, the carpet pretty decent here uh, at the seam and uh, peeled it back and got rid of all those carpet fibers there so we're going to want to try and replace that. The other spot is right here at the corner of the doorway. They actually did enough damage they got down to the tack strip and the floor uh, underneath the carpet and so that's a fairly decent size uh, repair that's going to need to be done in order for this uh, carpet to look uh, pretty and new again. So there's several tools that you'll need in order to do a job like this. Now depending on the size, on this job we won't be using it, but uh, the size of the repair you may need a seam iron. You will definitely need some seam tape or hot bonding tape, a hot glue gun, carpet shears, carpet knife, a stair tool, a seam roller, and of course your extra piece of carpet to put into that plug. So to get started with, we'll set this here so you can see. We're going to try and take our carpet shears and we're going to be uh, trimming away this excess uh, fibers because you don't want those in there. They'll get in the way. And uh, well, in this instance, we're actually just going to peel the carpet back. Pull it up from the wall a little bit here. And we're going to try and clean up this edge by just using our carpet knife. And we're going to cut that damaged area away, get rid of much of the fibers and damage as we possibly can. Now, if at all possible, you always, always want to cut from the back side of the carpet. Because otherwise you're cutting your carpet fibers and uh, it just makes them short and unmanageable. Now in this area we can't really cut it back because we can't peel away from the doorway so this is where we're going to use our carpet shears and trim that away close enough to the carpet edge that when we do our repair it won't stick up through. And then on this area over here uh, we'll get to that in just a minute uh, on that other section, but as you saw the hole was pretty extensive uh, pulled away from the wall. So now we've trimmed that area out and we're going to take our, our piece of carpet and try and give ourselves a, a rough pattern to work with. And again, like I said, you're going to want to try and cut from the the back of the carpet to make your carpet plug. You're always going to be wanting to kind of dry fit that in and make sure it's going to be the right size of a piece to fit in there. Just a little bit of Now you can see that already looks pretty good just the way it is, but we want it to look even even better and make sure that it's going to hold. So this is where some of your, take that carpet plug out, your seam tape comes in. You're going to want to take a piece, the hole is roughly this big, so you want a piece that's going to go underneath both edges of the carpet. So somewhere around that size. Rip that piece of seam tape off. And you're going to want to tuck your tape underneath the carpet. So you've got something for all of the carpet materials to bond to. Now, by this time, your hot glue gun should be pretty well heated up. And so, we'll uh, try and squirt enough underneath all the edges right now 
to give you a good bond for the carpet that's that's down because you want them to stay as one piece you don't want one piece coming up while the other one's down then your repair is kind of for naught now your seam roller comes into place that's where you're gonna try and roll this carpet into that hot glue uh, that you bought and you can get some specialty glues at, uh, at your carpet uh, supply stores that hold really well or uh, you can use just your household craft glue that you can get at uh, any of your hobby stores or even uh, most apartment stores. So now that that's nicely stuck to that uh, piece of hot bonding tape now we're going to take our hot glue gun again Remember, we've got our, our piece, so we're going to want to make sure that our plug it fits in there the way we want it to. When it does. We want to make sure that all of our carpet fibers are pulled back out of the way because we don't want those getting in the glue and getting stuck down because it'll make the, the repair look a little funny. Now, you'll give yourself again a generous amount of hot glue in there because you want this to stick, you don't want it coming up later on down the road when you get your carpet cleaned or something like that. So like I said, we make sure that those carpet fibers are all sticking up. Pretty. And then we roll it with our seam roller again. And that makes sure that that glue gets distributed and pressed down into the carpet fibers and onto that bonding tape. And you're going to want to let that cool. Now, we did pull up a section of the wall along here, as you remember, to get to that edge. So that's where your stair tool is going to come in handy. Because you're going to start re-tucking that wall and that repair back down in. I like to give a little tap on the edges there, make sure it looks nice and fluffy. Now, that one is pretty well done. We're going to move over and look at this other repair that we need to do. Now this one, remember, we can't get underneath there, so we're going to trim away all of these excess fibers again, because otherwise they'll just mess up all of our seam or our repair here. Make sure all the loose ones are out of the way, and outside of the way your repair is going to be. You don't want them getting stuck in our hot glue as well. So you're going to want to make sure all the fibers are out of that damaged area in there. As you see, we pull it back kind of like that. You've got your, your damaged area exposed and all the carpet fibers pulled back. So again, we want to give ourselves our plug that we're going to need to need that piece of carpet that uh, we had and we're gonna see if we can't kind of figure out a nice little dry fit for that get the general shape of it and again we cut from the back Sometimes when you're cutting those, you got to get off some of those excess fibers with your carpet shears again. So that kind of matches our our patch there. We don't want it to be too long. Get all bumped up. So we'll trim off a little bit more with our carpet shears. And this one's a little different because it's got carpet that you've got to trim around so you've got the general shape you're still gonna have to do a little bit of trimming in there to make sure that your shape looks looks good we'll make sure that these carpet fibers aren't gonna stick up funny when you put that repair in 
it looks like we've got a pretty good looking carpet plug there. Now again, make sure that your carpet is pulled back from where all your glue is going to be. You don't want to get fibers stuck down in there. Put a generous amount so it's nice and stuck, sticky. And then gently put that plug in as you work away all the fibers. And then with your seam iron or seam roller, you roll it down into place. Now because we couldn't cut through the seam there on that one, we had to just apply it onto the backing of the carpet that was exposed. There was a little bit of a height difference on this carpet. So there's where your carpet shears come in again. And you just do a nice light trimming, roll it out, make sure that one that you just did looks pretty good. And here you have a pretty good looking repair. Make sure we get all that trimmed up. But that's the basics on how to repair your carpet. Now you will notice that there's a little bit of a, a color difference because one is a little more worn, like you see here. And this is a brand new piece of carpet, it hasn't been touched before. But you can see that the repair is virtually unnoticeable uh, when you look at it, especially when you stand up and uh, nobody else knows where it's at, they're not going to see it. So there's your carpet repair for pet damage. Thanks for watching, and if you want more information on fixing carpet or other flooring damage, you can always visit thefloordr.com. Thanks.